What's good, JD fam? Welcome back to another lit video. You did, did, dig. This is your first time ever watching our channel. Make sure you press that subscribe button right now. So today we have some interesting things that we are doing to the house. Today's our first ever home renovation. The first ever. We actually already started like kind of the outside home renovation. Well, True. it's not really renovating. It's just adding to the home because there's really yeah. nothing to renovate. Let's just show them. We started on our fence. The yeah. fence isn't up yet, but all the posts in the back are up, yep. which is like mainly the hard part because they have to like dig into the ground and yeah do all that and where we live stuff. there's a lot of rocks so it makes it even harder for them to you know what i'm saying get the posts in and, and we're putting up a really tall fence yeah, super super tall eight feet minimum so it's gonna be dope you know what i'm saying i think that we're gonna have like our own sanctuary back here and it's gonna be pretty fire this is what we're talking about if you can see way back there all of those metal posts that's gonna be our fence probably doesn't look that tall from this angle but like when you guys it's go up crazy, close dude. it's really tall like next to our house it pretty much goes almost to the top which is crazy look at how beautiful this is isn't this beautiful i can't wait till this is all done we're starting on our concrete and yep. this man just I actually didn't do work just, with the plans. i just had a uh, i just had a meeting with the concrete guy today actually so that we can extend our patio and then he's gonna get started on the basketball court and I'm doing like a half court, but a full regulation court. So it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be big. And then there's gonna be a step down off the court and it's gonna lead to like a little lounge area, but it's still Fire gonna pit. be- Yeah, it's still gonna be connected to the court and it's gonna be like when you're sitting down- <laughs> Like what? <laughs> it's gonna be like what? <laughs> so look, when you're sitting down, so imagine, imagine me sitting down, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sitting down and they're playing basketball. It's gonna be eye level to me when I'm down in like the chill little lounge area. Okay. And then there's gonna be a fire pit as well. And the fire pit's gonna be a real fire pit where you need real wood. So, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be dope. We got some good plans. But what are we doing today? Today, we have a movie room that we need to get blacked out. So that means that we have to paint. So we already went to Home Depot to get all the materials and all that stuff. Now it's time for the painting part. And we got Destiny's dad here, luckily to help us because I'm not gonna lie, he's helped us like crazy. Like he helped us choose the paint, helped us get all the materials and all that. And now he's about to help us paint. So it's gonna be fun. My dad has been like in the whole home business for a long time because yeah. he's flipped like so many houses. He owns a lot of properties and buildings. And right now he's actually a home inspector. He's been doing that for like the last seven years years so he just knows a lot about houses like in every single aspect yep. he also knows like electrical work and like all types of stuff so he like changed our faucet for us in our kitchen he changed some of our lights in our room to like dimmers yeah we've been putting him to work i told him you need to come when we move because i need to put you to work and he actually did and this so is actually fun i'm not even gonna lie like this is fun like to like, this is the first time you're gonna really get to yeah, work huh? this is With fun though. i'm about to really start renovating the crib also. have so you ever painted in your entire life i have painted Definitely. okay then you know okay don't, don't mistake me i'm sorry <laughs> okay we got my dad he's already look at babe he already got started on a lot he took off all the outlet covers laid down all the plastic I know, but now you would have just went straight in with the brush <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so we got all this lining up. I think we're gonna have to cut My stepmom Evelyn's to work too. She's over here. My dad said she's he puts her to work with the painting too sometimes. <laughs> so she's experienced. It's a team effort here. Coco, no, you don't touch that. You wanna help paint? You don't know how to paint, my love. Goodness. He acts like he's doing something. Look at him walking around like he's doing something. We're probably gonna have to change the, the top too. <laughs> he likes running around the plastic. Is it hard? Should I try? No. Okay. Dang, it's super blotchy right at the bottom. I know, babe. Where? At the, at the bottom. No, oh, you can't look at it now. That's what I'm saying. It's a progress. Look, like now is it blotchy? 
No, but it's super thick. Yeah, I know, because it's spreading. Right. It's gonna, it's gonna even out when you come over. How is it up there, Poppy? It, it will hurt my feet because it's hard with, with the socks. I'm gonna have to put my shoes on. You know what that means? What? Old age. No, I'm just nice. kidding. <laughs> it hurts I'm just stuff. kidding. I wonder how this is gonna look when it's all black, and then we get the blackout curtains. This wants to look crazy. Yeah, my dad and Julius kicked me out the room because they said that I was going to micromanage. <laughs> and then the first thing I... You guys want me out of here? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's not nice. I'm sure you make a note where my pants are upside, inside out. You know? <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice that your pants were inside out. I everybody and I <laughs> He has his pants inside out so it doesn't, you know, get paint on them. The inside, I only bring one pair of joggers. <laughs> That's you with your light packing. They've been going at it for a good hour at least, huh? Only an hour? Well, at least this wall's gonna be quicker because it's a lot of windows. Yeah. No, huh. that one's gonna be longer for me. Yeah, for you. Look at all the colors. No, because we're not, are we painting inside the window ledge too? No, we don't have to paint the inside of the window ledge. What do you mean, leave it white? Is that yeah. dumb? Because we're gonna put uh, curtains? Yeah, curtains anyway, so. But maybe we should still or don't? Wow. Leave it white. Bring more light if you keep them white. Yeah, let's see how it looks with them still white. And then we can go back after. That part's gonna be quick. Julius is just trying to be, be done already, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm being serious though because maybe it will bring a little bit more light when we want it to be light. Yeah, that little tiny crack is gonna bring a lot of light into this room. Uh huh. I hope it looks good with it all black. I think it will. I think it would have looked really good with just this wall black and the nah, rest I think white. Honestly, the whole thing black. Too late now. I know. All black with decorations on the wall. My dad's never like, coming cool back. I put in so though. much work. Cause you know I got paintings. Some good, I got some good paintings. We should know. blow up one of our family paintings even bigger in here. Yeah. Boom, that would be kind of cute. That'd or you can good. put like the ones that Sierra got you, like your Kobe painting. No, I mean, that's what I, that's like what I'm all three next about. to each other. That's what I'm talking about. I want to put them all, but I'm going to put the biggest one up higher than the one, middle one in the middle and the smaller one in the smaller, you know? Hey, let's see your painting skills. Yeah. Stop playing. We didn't hire nobody. Okay, then. Also, this wall is hard to paint because it's like, to get a painting it's like a textured wall, if you guys can see. So that's what's making it so hard. I might have to get a painting. Dad, how did they make this wall textured? What is this? That's the roller that does that, I think. The roller? Yep, a special roller. Oh, that just made our life harder. Yeah, it is. Like, you gotta get in there. I wonder what that, why they do that. Does it make like... A difference on the well, walls? Texture, just for like looks, I guess. My shoulders are getting <laughs> uh, tired. Well, it's coming along. Let's see the progress. <gasps> wow. Look at this. This is looking nice. You guys tired? <laughs> this looks really cool in here. Wow. Shit. Julius, you're done, huh? Well, we're, we're pretty much that's it. That's spot. Last of it right here, guys. And you guys used all the paint? This is a tiny bit. Okay. Let's see. I got a spot check, you guys. Might be a spot right up there. No. How about you spot check yourself? Spot check, you guys. Uh, yep. You got a spot right here, look. Oh boy. <laughs> no, you actually do. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I don't know where I'm picking the camera up at, but Destiny just left to take her dad and her stepmom to the airport. They were gonna go get some food before and stop at a restaurant or whatever, and then they were gonna go to the airport. But unfortunately, I couldn't go because I have to wait here. We have two chandeliers that we need put up and the people are on the way right now to put those up. So I gotta stay here and make sure that they are in the area that we want them and the position and all that stuff. But listen guys, I'm not gonna lie, like living in Texas is just so peaceful and beautiful. Like I just literally went outside with the dogs, played fetch for like 15 minutes, came back inside and now I'm just chilling, relaxing. This is so lovely in LA. Like I can't go outside and just play fetch. You know what I'm saying? I gotta take them to the park and there may be super dogs at the park. You know what I'm saying? Just like inconvenient stuff. So I typed in Juju and Des on YouTube because I was trying to watch our video that we posted yesterday because it was actually pretty dope. Like I actually loved editing it and watching it at the same time, like it was fun to watch. So I tried to watch it again, but I ran across this video and it says, this is why Juju and Des downgraded to Texas. And there's a slide and it says, they are no longer chasing the dream. They have found it. And that's not a lie at all. That is like such a crazy saying and it's a cool saying at the same time because it's like, you know, everybody has a dream and dreams really never stop because I still have dreams and aspirations to do a lot of crazy things in life. But one of my main dreams was just to have a family and be comfortable, have a wife, be married and you know what I'm saying? Just be happy. And we did that. Like we did all that in LA and we were fortunate enough to build such a dope team, such a dope support team. And we were able to come to Texas and buy a beautiful home. And now it's just like, it's crazy to see all the steps that we took and like this is still, it still feels like the beginning because we're just in Texas now. There's so much that we have to do to this house. There's so like, it's literally about to be Christmas. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now before this camera dies, we are officially, this is like the first year that we are super excited about this because we've been kind of slacking, but we are going to be participating in Vlogmas. So it's Liddy. hopefully you guys are ready. And like, I need all you guys to tune in because we are gonna go so hard for you guys. Starting December 1st, Vlogmas is gonna be crazy. We've already started going hard for you guys, posting every other day and trying to get as much content out. Because honestly, we do a lot of stuff, but we just don't be filming it. And we do need to film it. So we are participating in Vlogmas this year. It's gonna be super dope, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully you guys are ready. Hopefully if you're a new subscriber, you're ready because you know what I'm saying, our Vlogmas is gonna be lit. This is a new city, new Juju and Des. We just are like so happy here, guys. It's just like unexplainable. Final reveal time. This is what our home theater is looking like. We went with all black to give it you know, that dark vibe. We're gonna put a big TV right here. We got our big sectional recliner couches. We got these from Living Spaces. A lot of them do recline. It's super comfortable. And I actually really love how the all black turned out. At first I wasn't sure how it was going to look, but I feel like it just transformed this whole room so much. Before it felt just like it was another living room, like it felt like the same thing. But now it just feels like a whole different vibe in here. I can't wait to get the curtains put up. I feel like that's going to change it so much as well. And the TV, of course. We also want to change the ceiling fan because it's just like does not go with the vibe. It's kind of like brownish. We really want to change all the ceiling fans in this house, but you know, one thing at a time, there's so much we want to do. It's hard to like pace ourselves, but we're trying. We're trying to get like the little things that are kind of easy to do out the way first, and then we can move on to the harder stuff. We haven't used this room too much yet because we don't have a TV or anything in here, but I was actually chilling in here right now, editing. It's actually really late right now. That's why I look so tired and my voice is like already giving out. It's about to be like 1 a.m. already. The boys are both already asleep. They look so cute, I'm gonna show you guys. But since we're trying to be more active, I thought that I would just get ahead of the editing now so that we go into tomorrow 
with a fresh start and we don't have to worry about like having to edit and that taking up a lot of our day. That's why it is hard to post a lot sometimes because the editing can take up like an entire day sometimes. And we do already have a full busy day again tomorrow. We've been so busy every single day that we've been out here. But for some reason, it's just been easier to get things done. And even though we've been so busy and have so much going on, we don't feel stressed at all. And like everything is just an exciting feeling rather than like an overwhelming, daunting feeling. Before I start rambling on, let me show you the other additions to the house. So we kind of hated the chandeliers that came so we kind of hated the chandeliers and light fixtures that came with this house. So that was one of the first things we wanted to do was change those out. And let me say it has made such a difference, especially in person. Like it doesn't even translate as well in picture or video as it does in person. It's so gorgeous in person. Let me show you guys. This is our front entrance chandelier. Look at how gorgeous this is. I feel like it has just really completely transformed the space. Then this is the second light fixture that we chose. This is going to be above the dining room table. So we wanted something a little bit more simple, not as like flashy. Um, but this one is still really pretty as well. Kind of reminds me of like a flower or something. I have the lights turned off because it's so bright. Watch. Woo! <laughs> And I think this is going to complement our dining table really well because we're using the same dining table and it has like great accents in it so I think this will be perfect. So I just went to get my nails done. I found my little nail tech here in Texas. It's the same one that my grandma and my aunt go to so that was real easy. And what did we get in? Mm -mm -mm. We ended up exchanging our couch in the living room because we just like weren't really feeling it. It was really Julius who was feeling it to begin with and I was like, okay, I'll just let you pick whatever you want. Yeah. And it's not even fully decorated yet. Like, I still need to get our side tables, our accent chair. I want to get an ottoman instead of a coffee table in the middle, but like a, a really nice one just because I don't want Koa like bumping into the coffee table and hurting himself. So we're trying to make our house cute but still like baby proof. So this is the couch. <laughs> you like my pillow choices, hey, huh? These pillows are crazy. <laughs> The reason that I really love this couch, it's actually kind of like a taupe, brownish, tan with a little tint of gray and it really matches our beams well because our beams are kind of like taupe as well. So it complements it really nicely. Comfy? Hey, uh, dude. Yeah, I like how the side looks. It has this like curved little edge, really cute. I love these. Ooh, you like them? I love them. So far, this is the vibe. Oh my gosh, our couch literally matches the beam perfect. That's so crazy. This couch is from Living Spaces as well. It's from the Magnolia Home line. But that's all you guys get to really see all around our crib for now because we do have some more renovations that you guys will see in later videos. But for now, hopefully you guys enjoyed everything and like everything that we have around the crib and you guys enjoyed this video. We love you guys so much and we'll see you guys in our next video, right? Yep. Peace.